Pneumono ultramicroscopic silico volcaniconiosis is the longest English word in the human language. A is the shortest word in a tie with I. Don't know where the human language started. Why do we communicate verbally? And will we ever communicate telepathically? You are watching Disrupt. Bow wow. Poo poo. Yo hee ho. In 1861, Max Muller published a list of ideas about where he thinks the origin of words came from, listing the above as the most simple ones to form with the mouth, stating that perhaps Bow Wow was an imitation of the cries of beasts and birds, Poo Poo being an exclamation of pain, pleasure, or surprise, and Yo Hee Ho emerging from an attempt to link muscular effort to things like physical effort, lifting a rock, etc. However, the problem that some linguists propose about this theory is that maybe it assumes that somehow, before we didn't use words, then we started using them and somehow linked meaning behind them. As opposed to when a cat purrs, like we know why she is purring. We trust that she is comfortable, not because she is inclined to be honest, but because the sound cannot be faked. That's all she knows how to do to, to link that meaning behind it, whereas with humans we don't link concepts behind sounds, aka words, unless we're taught a specific language to uh, match the boxes. Warning: Do not watch this video because it is banned by the Linguist Society of Paris. In 1866, they barred any existing or future debates on the origin of language because there's no empirical evidence to back up any of the theories provided. But alas, we will still The first one being the mother tongue's hypothesis. It says that perhaps language originated for the purpose of communication between mothers and their own offspring. A parent could perhaps better communicate danger to their child and could later communicate to other adult relatives about this new thing called talking. Critics say, though, that if this were the case, why don't monkeys communicate with their children? To which William talked and replied that unlike other mammals, the human brain stays in the growth stage longer during the time of dependency on parents. So perhaps language could fit into that time period. The shape of our mouth is slightly different depending on what language we speak. So if you were born in the US and you wanted to move to Ghana and speak Fanti, you will never speak Fanti as fluently as a native. So if you're learning a new language, it's best just to give up right now. You'll never be 100% fluent in it. It says perhaps it originated from a need to build trust between individuals. So if you speak truthfully to me, I'll speak truthfully to you. If you give me one corn, I'll give you one. Critics point out that this theory fails to state when, why, or by whom this new communication would have been enforced or even proposed in the first place. Also, earlier I said pneumonal ultramicroscopic silico... Pneumono... Pneumon... <laughs> is the longest English word. Uh, turns out I was wrong. The longest word is the chemical name of Titan. YouTuber Mr. Beast took nearly two hours to say it in its entirety. And it's 190,000 characters. Yes, 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 yes. Many mythologies and religions do not credit humans with the invention of language, but rather speak of a divine language predating humans, mystical languages used to communicate with animals or spirits, most commonly referred to as the language of birds. In Norse mythology, Odin had two ravens called Hugin and Munin, who would fly around the world and tell him of the dramas amongst mortals. In the Quran, Solomon and his father David are said to have been taught the language of birds which helped them rule Israel. The Aztecs have a story that says after a great flood, the only things that survived were a man and a woman. Having floated on a piece of bark, they then found themselves on dry land 
and had many children who were at first unable to speak. But in the sky a dove appeared and endowed them with the gift of language, the catch being the children were each given a different set of speech so they could not understand one another. In the Old Testament, the people of Earth thought they could build a tower so tall that it would reach the heavens, thus they would no longer need divine intervention. So God disrupted their minds and made it so they could no longer communicate amongst each other. After this, they began fighting amongst themselves and dispersed across the Earth. Present day. Present time. <laughs> In this virtual reality metaverse called Neos VR, there's a specific feature that allows two people speaking separate languages to communicate with each other in real time. It uses speech to text to input the language of the speaker. Then it translates the base language into the output language and displays it, like subtitles above their heads, with a one to two second delay. This has allowed a dual community to emerge on Neos, with some people speaking Japanese and others speaking English and communicating and building with each other across the uh, sort of meta world. There's also apps and earbuds that when worn can translate words and speech in real time. Okay, so now I'm actually not very certain if it's working properly. Right now, right now we're on the verge of brain to computer interfaces. For better and worse, we already have this collective brain that is like an accumulation of all past human knowledge. The way we currently interact with it is sort of like through screens, clicking, typing, and even VR, but perhaps soon we'll be interacting with it by thinking. The line of thought then is perhaps we'll be able to communicate visual complex ideas with another person that way. Like I was having a conversation at a party I was trying to describe something to a friend, uh, sort of a complex idea, and I was thinking how easy it would be if I could just think of the images that are linked to those concepts and have them display in between us, right? Could this same idea of thought communication be carried over then into new forms of media? Like say you download a thought from your favorite thought creator, and when you click it and play, their thought is transferred to you, not through words like a video or a podcast, but through visual information that was originally that was, originally, that was originally formulated by them through thinking. With such a technology, we would probably see a heightened sense of propaganda and mass ideologies that are spread more easily brain to brain, computer to computer, person to person. But we could also see uh, you know, truth, peace, good values being spread brain to brain, computer to computer, person to person, as is with any new technology that allows us to communicate Communicate, 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 communicate. Semantic satiation is a psychological phenomena in which repetition causes a word or phrase to temporarily lose meaning for the listener, who then perceives the speech as repeated or meaningless sounds. Oh, what you what are you saying? Hey, what's up, gamers? I am no longer filled with an ever-increasing amount of existential dread. Why you may ask? Well because I recently discovered an epic new virtual reality game, it's like Space Invaders meets Tetris meets Candy Crush. Using the link in the description you can enter the simulation of Space Blockbuster. It features satisfying gameplay where you hit the balls to gain points and achieve supremacy on the global leaderboards. For a 9.99 you're getting 40 stages and 4 boss battles that each posses their own unique theme and skills to conquer. There's multiverse mode, it's like PvP against other players. There's also item skins that are unlockable through achievements and extra items, buffs, and rackets that you can unlock. They just recently added a new game mode called Space Voyage that will have you flying through space and dodging asteroids on your way to unlocking new chapters. Nice. It reminds me of old school arcade games. If this simulation interests you, the link in the description will take you right to the game page. Good luck out there in the metaverse, and don't forget the footprints that are on the moon will be there for approximately 100 million years.
White chocolate has a higher fat content, which means if they've got butter in the sponge as well, they need to reduce that so they're not really upping that fat content in the sponge, which will disrupt the texture of the cake itself. Uh, yo, Disrupt, I just had a question where, like, it came down to, um, like, AI. Do you think that AI eventually, like, say, in, like, this full dive virtual setting from, like, uh, reality.exe, say, like, an AI were to be implemented into this, would that AI, like, is there any potential for it to reach intelligence or to a certain point to have free will and to like be as intelligent as humans uh in that sense like yeah developing free will and like choice as to their actions and stuff like that uh thank you okay so i would i would imagine the interesting thing, thing about that to me is that if there was an ai that entered then this other reality the ai would be given an opportunity to learn in a setting that is more familiar to the the physical reality because we operate with that reality in much of the same way that we do the physical reality right whereas if you put an ai into the world now it's limited by like the box that it's in right or like the the robotic body that it has but the ai if it was given full autonomy in the digital reality would have more of like a similar body so it could in theory right it could it could learn and autonomously make decisions in the world but then it's like okay what is <laughs> we're getting into like the free what is free will at that point to me i i don't think we have full free will i think it's more like we're on like a like a plane and we can make decisions on the plane but the destination is sort of predetermined so it would be i think it would be similar with an ai like it doesn't it doesn't have free will in the sense that it can't exit the simulation but it would have decisions that it could make or choices that it could choose within the simulation i don't know what do you guys think in the comments that's interesting Thank <laughs> you.